Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I am back with a book mail video. Today we have two books, and um, yeah. So um, just gonna hop right into it. The first book here is from, I think, Vintage Book Haul on Etsy. Um, it sounded like a really fun book. I, I read the synopsis. This isn't like a cover buy or anything. Um, I read the synopsis, it sounded good. I don't know much about it, so other than the synopsis, and that is Dark Journey by A.R. Moreland. And I know you're not going to be able to see that cover very well, even if the light wasn't blinding on it. But uh, you got the, you know, the, um, what do you want to call it, the fair or whatever on the bottom there. And then you got this like antelope looking windigo thing. Really cool. I'll read the synopsis and uh, yeah. So here we go. It's a long synopsis, so buckle in. Um, so here we go. Town of Evil. Irritan, a decaying small town. It's glory days many years gone, if they ever existed. Few residents know that these towns were built on corruption and lies. That the town was founded on evil. Palmer Winston glimpsed the eerie truth in a mysterious woman and spent his last 50 years trying to recapture it. His oldest friend, Palmer Nemitz, saw her too. It turned him sour and mean, and his humanity withered within him. Carnival of Horrors. The Water Carnival, a faded memory of imagined better times. This year will be the most memorable of Irritan, Irritan history. This year, the South State Enterprise Carnival, outlawed by Irritan since 1923, returns. The, cook, the Crooked Games... The Mentalist and Freak Show, and the True Horror, disguised by a beautiful face and a Veronica Lake waterfall of caramel blonde hair, a thing born of corruption. Night of Judgment, the Irritant High 10-year reunion, when she will return to her hometown and give birth to a terror from which there can be no escape. So, sorry if I read that funky. Um, yeah, I, um... I got a little bit of dyslexia thing going on today. Um, so if I read that weird, I apologize. Um, but yeah, this is Dark Journey by A.R. Moreland. If you can see that cover, look at that monster. It's hard to see because of this light right above me. But um, yeah, that's the first book we got. And that was from Etsy from Vintage Book Hall. I'll put that right there for right now. The next book we got is from Amazon from Lazarus Press. And by the way, the last book I think was a zebra paperback. No, it's Bantam. Wow, I did. that's surprising. But the next book we have is a Lazarus Press book. This is by Christopher Rupty, and it is The Vampire of Plainfield. I did buy this for the cover. I'm not going to lie. Um, let me read the synopsis, because this will be the first time I've actually read the synopsis. I bought another Christopher Rupty book. I read that synopsis, and it sounded really good. Then I saw the title of this one and the cover, and I had to get it. So, yeah, here we go. Plainfield, Wisconsin, 1954. Robin Graves, to appear his malevolent desire, Ed Gein inadvertently sets loose an ancient vampire on the unsuspecting town of Plainsfield. Oh. As the number of missing persons rises, Ed realizes the vampire's ultimate plan has been put into motion, and to prevent his disasterly practices from being exposed he decides to slay the vampire himself but he soon understands that he's all the hope plainfield has as the few people closest to ed are sucked into the vampire's realm he'll be forced to reach deep inside himself to bring the incredible nightmare to an end on this night the ghoul of plainsfield must battle the vampire of plainfield uh to the death so i didn't Whoa. Um, oh, I might have to go. Hold on one second. So, yeah, this one is uh, historical fiction, actually. So, um, did not expect that, to be honest with you. Very cool premise. Um, I don't know about painting a serial killer as a good guy. I don't know about that part. But, um, this sounds like a really fun book. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's... This one is, oh, I don't know. It looks like it's 337 pages. So, yeah, this is going to be one of those reads I got to read eventually. 
Um, I'm definitely reading the other Christopher Rufty book. It's called, uh, what is it called? Um, it's called Pillow Face. So I'm definitely reading that one first. Um, this one is a pretty big book as well. This one comes in at, um, come on, flip the page, Nick. 300 or 596 pages. So this is a big one, Dark Journey by A.R. Moreland. So yeah, and that is all I have today for you guys. Um, I am still reading Ronald Kelly's Bloodkin. I'm going to stick to it until I finish it, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's it's going really well so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Ronald Kelly is fantastic. Uh, there's not much else to say, really. Um, he's a fantastic author, and I adore his writing. Um, I adore him. He's just a fantastic dude. And, um, yeah, uh, um... So that's all I have to say to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day and a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.